Alright, this is Isaac Videos back for the third part of my Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Let's Play. So, last time I just bought the bottom satchel. Oh, what's this little kid? Hello. Um, your grandma was calling for you, Link. And so was my mom. So, if you go around talking to people, most of them would just say, um, your grandma was looking for you and you have to head to your house. So, I mean, talking to this guy... Yeah, Hoi Link, press L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. See, normally he teaches you the basic controls and stuff about Z targeting. But since I've played this game plenty of times so far, I'm not going to do that. You can do it if you want. If you want to learn the controls. So, when you've done that, head over to this house over here. Enter it. This is your grandma's house. And so, enter it. Rotate the camera. You'll notice your grandma isn't here. So, what you have to do is... You have to walk over here, climb up this ladder, and you'll see your grandma's. And a cutscene will occur. I'd be waiting for you, Link. Link. Try these on. And here is where you get time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Here you get the hero's clothes, which is the green clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. <laughs> they make like a lot of references to that in this game. Or in the beginning. I find it really funny. I don't like it when he gets the clothes and like holds them up. He's like, yes! Don't don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young heroes spoken in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. <laughs> one day, what? Right? Yeah, right. We have to wear them for a whole adventure across the sea. In the spoilers, in the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one. On the island who still knows anything about sword play. And Orca is a character we'll be meeting and going back to a few times in the in this game. Because he get, can give you some good bonuses. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down for, from those days. And dun 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 dun. Don't I look more like Link already? Does this all make sense to you? I <laughs> like it's just gonna... Uh. Isn't it nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Ow. And that soup is like the best potion in the game. So you'll... But you can't get it yet. You'll be getting it much later on in the game. But it's really useful. So... so Go back out of your house, and this time you have to go all the way back to the tower. Oh, and last time I forgot to buy some bait for my bait bag, so I'm going to go do that now. Hopefully you remembered. Now, there's two kinds of bait. There's normal bait, which is the most useful kind, because you use that quite a lot through the game, but it's mostly for the same thing. Because when you start getting hanging out to sea, there are these fish, and you can chart islands on your map. And it's a lot easier to find your way around with when you chart. So I'm going to chart everything ever all the mice have learned. So that's the little red stuff. I bet you can't see it, but um, he always says the same thing, so I'm not going to bother reading it. You can buy or sell something. Just, yeah, just look around. The red, the red little dots are the all-purpose bait, and it's get, it, you can use it three times before it runs out, and it's ten rupees. So I'll buy it. I'm going to buy two of these. And you don't really need that other type. That get, can, When you're at sea, which you won't be for a while, you can use that to can take control of seagulls. But you won't need that for a while, so I'm not going to buy any of that. And let's buy one more red. See, that's what they look like. I'll buy it. Alright, now... Alright, let's head out and let's go find Oh. Alright. So, let's 
also, um, oh yeah, and something fun is if you roll into this lady, uh, you'll make her drop the pot, but there's nothing really necessary for that. So, head back across the bridge to the big lookout tower. I don't even know why they put that. Who built that? I mean, I mean, maybe if this was a town and there's like a war and people attacking and it was a lookout tower. I don't know. Just this huge lookout tower. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. And seagulls in this game they actually play a pretty significant part later on. That's way later on, so I'm not gonna ramble on too much about that now. Oh, stupid black stripe. Climb up this insanely long ladder. That's why I dropped down at the first part, because it takes forever to go up. Seagull, let's get the seagulls away. Ah, hoi, big brother. Hoi. She says hoi. Who says hoi? Ah, anyway. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. Again, another reference to that. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hands? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging but just for one day. And, if you've watched the previous ones, I bet you can guess what this she's going to give you. Happy birthday! You get her telescope. This is like the first, like, real item you get in the game. You don't use this too much. You use it a bit, but I never really use it. So now you can look really far and see things. Um, you use it once coming up here. Oh, they yeah, are like right coming up here. So, you look at the house. So what you have to do is hit the start button to come here. Select this. And when you select it, hit, you can either hit X, Y, or Z. I'm going to hit on X. So once you set it, hit X once you're on the main screen. And you can zoom in using the C buttons. So look at that red mailbox. If you like, you bet, I bet you can't see it, but just there should be a little red thing. And there's a little brown thing beside it. So you zoom in on that. You'll notice there's like this bird person just standing there. And you learn a lot about them later on. So, anyway, now, so he looks kind of weird. And she, your, sis, your sister just, what's that? Look up in the sky. And you'll see this huge bird just flying. And you'll notice this, this girl, or this girl in this, his hand. Just this huge bird. And then you'll see this rock fly by. Rocks away. This pirate ship. Oh, boy. That's why they have the lookout tower. You know, those these guys, and they're just firing rocks at this thing. Here it goes! Oh, this part's really funny. When the bird looks back, bird look back. Here it comes, here it comes. BAM! Right across the face! Ouch, you are. And then that girl goes falling down into the forest. So when this cutscene ends, I'm going to be ending this Let's Play because this is a good time to end it. So, Link, that this is so terrible. That girl in the forest, she needs help. But it's too dangerous to go in there so it's something you can't defend yourself with. And so I'm going to be ending off here. Okay, bye.